What's going on everybody? Alex here at Nickens Line Landscape. In today's video, we're going to talk about switching your landscape from mulch to rock. Now, where we're from, a lot of people go with mulch initially just because it is cheaper. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I think they do it because they're not uh, fully explained to the differences of the two. Now, we switch a ton of landscapes from mulch to rock and we hardly ever go from rock to mulch. And in my experience, uh, we just like using rock better. It's more of a permanent solution. It's definitely less maintenance. And I would say nine out of 10 people that come to us looking for a new landscape are looking for low maintenance. So with that being said, there are tons of different kinds of rock you can go with. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description right here. You can go to our supplier and you can see what rock they have available. Now all across the country, the rock available is gonna be different, of course. Uh, but this will give you a good idea of kind of what's out there and uh, what you can maybe look for. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into our video here, or our project, and show you guys what it looked like whenever we got started. Alright, so what we got to do is clean up all the leaves, sticks, mulch, everything like that, make a good edge down here. Trim up these spireas, pull out all that honeysuckle. There's a bunch of that around. There's more of it over there. There's some over on the side. We were supposed to trim those boxwoods, but someone did that. But just pull all these weeds around these grasses, everything, clean it all up. Probably trim these up a little bit. She trimmed that already. These two dead trees are going. And then the same thing around over here. Trim this up, pull all this stuff, weed eat it all down, clean all that out of there. And then right here, yeah, pull that honeysuckle, there's a bunch of honeysuckle right there. Pull all that out, and then weed barrier, everything, and trap rock. Let's get on it. Alright, so here we are about an hour and a half later and we are ready for weed barrier and rock. We got all the weeds pulled, all the honeysuckles gone, shrubs trimmed that needed to be trimmed, trees removed, Nick acting like he's busy over there. So that's it. Ready for weed barrier. Yeah, we need to blow out a little bit better, but got all that overgrown stuff that was in here. All gone. So once you get all cleaned up like we are here, it's time to put down your weed barrier. Now again, kind of like the rock, there's a lot of different weed barriers available. Um, there are some that are very, very expensive. And there are some that are very, very cheap. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys and say that most of our projects uh, were somewhere in the middle. Just because the stuff that is very, very expensive 
is sometimes hard to work with and uh, it's kind of overkill in my opinion. We've used this other stuff that I'm talking about for a long time. I'm gonna try to link that down here in the description too, but uh, we've been using this one for seven or eight years now and anytime we have to go back and fix something or replace a plant or add a bed or anything like that, it's still there, it's still solid, it's in good shape and easy to work with. So. I have uh, no reason to believe that we can't continue to use that one and like I said I'll try to leave a link down here in the description for that. Now we didn't get any footage of us laying this down but uh, basically you're going to want to get yourself a box of sod staples. I'll try to leave a link again down in the description for where you can get some of those but you're going to want to get a box of sod staples and you're going to want to get uh, enough weed barrier to cover your square footage. Always overestimate, never underestimate because you're always going to need more than you think you need. And now that measurement serves two purposes. It's for your weed barrier or your uh, weed fabric, and it's also gonna be for your rock. So make sure you get that number right. And after the weed barrier is applied, all you gotta do now is lay your rock down. Just be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you don't tear the weed barrier and make sure that you get those side staples up in the corner and up along the building and sidewalk and such as close as you can. Uh, to prevent that from poking up in the future. But as long as you lay this out good, take your time, uh, make clean cuts, you're gonna need a good sharp uh, box knife. But as long as you make those cuts clean and get those staples in as close as you can, you should be in good shape. Now our method of rock is a lot easier than most, but we go through a lot more rock than a lot of people do too. So this is our method, it works out excellent for us. We've been doing this again for six or seven years. Hope you like it. Guys, that is a wrap for this one. Simple weeding and new landscape shot. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this project, hope you enjoyed the uh, little tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those down in the comments, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.